Hey guys, this is going to be part two of my assumptions video. Um, I just need to find where I left off. Okay, I think I found it. Okay, so someone said you have a very small family. Um, I don't know. It depends what you consider small. Um, I live. I have. Um, I live with my younger sister and my mum and dad and my grandpa. Um, and then also like just next door is my uncle and auntie and their three kids and then down the road is my sister and my nephew so I feel like is that what you consider small? I don't know I feel like it's hard like I definitely don't have a huge family but I wouldn't say it's small like I feel like there's a there's a fair few of us so <laughs> um someone said you're extremely dedicated to producing content for your viewers um I feel like I am you know it's so weird like um last year when I was only posting three videos a day I felt like I struggled so much and now I've posted like a video every single day for like almost nine months or something like that um and yeah I just feel like I really just got the dedication people are always telling me how much they love watching my videos um I've had a someone actually messaged me and said that they're having they can't get out of um bed at the moment due to their pain and that she's been watching my videos every day and I was like that's why, you know, that's why I'm sitting down and making these videos. Not only do I enjoy it so much, but it's also like, you know, I love creating something and seeing you guys watch it and seeing you guys get so excited about my videos and watching, like, it's just weird that people spend their time watching me, but for as long as you guys want to see me, then I'll definitely make as many videos as I can. Someone said you love your fans so much. Yeah, of course I do. I, like, um, I'm nothing without you guys pretty much. Like, um, you know, I could do this every single day and I could work hard. Um, and do absolutely everything but if I didn't have you guys then it wouldn't be worth it so um, yeah I honestly owe literally everything to you guys you guys are amazing you're always there for me I feel like I literally have my own little family um, and yeah I honestly am so grateful I hope you guys know how much I do love you someone said I feel like I can't win any giveaways because I can't watch YouTube vids that's not true at all um, you don't need to watch my YouTube videos to win my giveaways so. It's just luck of the draw, um, unfortunately, and I'm sorry that you can't, like, that you haven't won a giveaway yet, but honestly, I have thousands of people entering, and you guys know that if I could, I would give back to all of you, but it's just not possible, um, and that's why I do these giveaways, you know, to try and change it, you know, at least a couple people's lives, um, and I'm really sorry that not everyone gets the chance. Someone said that your friends ask you to do their makeup in a bit. I bet it gets a bit annoying. <laughs> I don't really have friends to be honest. Like, um, but yeah, I've had people ask to do my makeup and stuff. I mean, for me to do their makeup and stuff before. And honestly, it's a compliment. Like, I never get annoyed. Um, I actually feel really guilty because I always say no because um, I just can't do makeup on other people and that really, really scares me. Um, I would hate for me to do someone's makeup and them to absolutely hate it. But no, when people ask me to do their makeup, it's like the biggest compliment in the world. They obviously like the way that I do it and for them to actually want me to do it on them, I feel like that's such a compliment. Um, so I would never get annoyed, I think. Um, it's actually really, really nice. Yeah. <laughs> Um, I have made like, um, I think I've shared like memes and stuff before and I even made a TikTok and someone's like, we should hang out and you should do my makeup and I'm like, <laughs> um, it's not like that, like it's, it's just funny but, um, also I think like, you know, sometimes if I want to hang out, I just want to, just want to hang out, you know, I don't want everything to be about, um, YouTube and makeup and stuff, but no, I would, like, it's not like I actually get annoyed, like I think it's just a funny joke, like, you know, it's funny to laugh about, but, no. Someone said you're good at drawing and painting. No way. That's why makeup, I feel like, um, was so hard for me to get into and why it takes me so long to advance. My drawings, and even my handwriting is awful. Like, this is my handwriting. Like, it's awful. I can't draw, I can't paint. I am literally the most least artistic person in the world. Um, but here I am. It's weird. Um, okay, someone said... An absolute queen. You seem like a shy girl, but you're actually crazy and maybe artistic. <laughs> um, yeah, I feel like I can be crazy. I feel like not so much anymore. I feel like um, when I'm around the right people, yeah, maybe, like around certain people. But I feel like um, nowadays I spend a lot of time with Sam and my family and, you know, just kind of chill, I guess. Um, I can definitely be crazy if I want to, but no. I am very shy, though. Um, someone said you never thought you could be an influencer. See, that's the thing. Um, 
I feel like everyone, like, it's weird, like, when people make it big, they're always like, I never thought this could happen, um, and, like, I get it, like, I, like, when I actually reached 10,000 followers, I was like, what the hell, like, you know, this was always the dream, but I never thought it would happen, but at the same time, I do believe in myself as well, so, yes and no, like, I feel like thinking about, like, you know, being up there and having, like, upwards of, like, 100,000 followers and, like, having YouTube be my full-time job, like, it does seem like crazy, like a crazy dream, but I also believe in myself, like, it's never like I've doubted myself and be like, nah, like, you, you won't get there. I really do, I really think I will. Um, if I, there's no reason why I can't, if I keep pushing and if I keep working hard, like, I just, you know, if I stay dedicated, um, I just really don't think that there's a reason why I couldn't make it there. And if, um, I don't, and this is all I ever get to achieve, then I'm happy with that as well, you know? Like, obviously I have my goals, but it's not like, I feel like I've succeeded. I feel like, you know, I've built a um, decent following. I've at least made some money off YouTube, you know? Like, I've got, I've spent three years of my life doing what I love most. Um, so, yeah. I feel like, yeah, like, it's weird. Like, when it actually happens, it's a super surreal feeling. But I also do believe in myself. Someone said that you, uh, I assume that you use your makeup as a distraction from your real life problems. Um, I don't know, I feel like I'm a genuinely, like, um, I don't think so. I actually don't think I have any real life problems. Sometimes I have, like, obviously sad times and stuff, and I feel like, um, it's not like I use this as a, as a distraction, but I feel like talking to you guys and doing my makeup and stuff is therapeutic. Um, and it makes me feel better, like, it, I feel like, you know, when I can rant on here and, like, it's like, I know that I'm being heard by someone, um, and, yeah, I feel like that's, it's, like, therapeutic in a way, like, it's not like you talk to your friends, like, to distract yourself, like, you talk to your friends to actually, like, get it off your chest and make yourself feel better and kind of work through it, um, but I don't think distractions are a bad thing either, like, if you're going through something and you need a distraction, that's perfectly fine, like, um, I don't think, I think that it's important to actually get to the root of the problem and actually work through the problem as well, but there's no harm in having a distraction for a while and, you know, making yourself feel better and stuff, like, you know, mental health and being upset and all that kind of thing, it's a, it's a, it can be a very long process and there's a lot to it and yeah, I don't necessarily think that distractions are a bad thing, as long as you're doing like a healthy one, I guess, um, <laughs> but I'm not gonna sit here and try and coach you guys, I'm not, I'm not, um, a mental health professional I don't I only know my own experiences and my own personal journey I guess so yeah I'm not gonna tell you what you should and shouldn't do um, but yeah that was a long tangent I should have just said no <laughs> um, someone said you seem so confident online is that how it really is in your everyday life no um, it's very easy to sit in my room and talk to a camera because um, you know I feel like I don't know, I can edit it and I can post it and kind of, um, you know, take as many takes as I want. Like, I don't have to worry about people speaking over me or awkward encounters or anything like that. Like, I just feel like um, this is really a place where I can be myself and not have to feel shy or worried or anxious or anything like that. Um, so I do, I really, really love having this platform. It's amazing to me. Um, and I feel like it has kind of helped my confidence a little bit in... Um, in real life and it's also kind of hurt my confidence a tiny bit because I get worried like if I wear a makeup look out that people are gonna look at me and be like that is disgusting or like people are gonna judge me like the more that I kind of grow because they're gonna be like well you have 20,000 followers so you have a certain expectation to live up but I I don't think that that would actually happen I think that's just what like goes through my mind but I don't think that's actually like how it is um someone said Everyone thinks you're rude and nasty, but you're actually super sweet and funny. I hope people don't think I'm rude and nasty because I would be pretty upset. Um, I feel like if you work with me, I'm very quiet. Um, I'm very quiet in person. People might think that that's me being rude. I'm just really shy. Um, and yeah, I guess if you saw me at work or something, I usually kind of like to keep my head down and don't really like to talk too much just because I'm kind of there to get my job done and then come home and do what I actually enjoy, if that makes sense. Um, I used to be a bit, I used to be a bitch, okay? And that's the truth, like, I'm never going to hide from that. I was a pretty awful person um, and I feel like the only way to, um, you know, th there's no, like, point in, like, trying to ignore that. Like, I will always acknowledge that and... 
take that on because you know I know that I could have been like that I was a bitch I can still get me a bitch you know I feel like everyone can be a bitch but um I feel like I've genuinely changed and I feel like I really try and help people and be kind and um you know just try and really lift people up um so yeah I hope people don't think I'm rude and nasty but if you do I'm really sorry and I'm sorry I've made you feel that way kind of thing um but yeah I feel like I'm pretty nice sometimes I get upset like you might have had a bad interaction with me like um I feel so rude sometimes because if I have people like hounding me in DMs like um there's this girl that has been messaging me for literally months um sending me photos of her crying and stuff and saying that um you know she doesn't have any makeup and she needs this giveaway and stuff and like it's it gets a little bit much because I'm only one person and I'm really trying to give back but when people guilt trip me it's it's very like I just don't I feel like it just doesn't sit well and I had to say to her I was like look like I need you to stop messaging me like about free makeup and like about the giveaway otherwise I will have to block you and I felt like that was so rude and I was like I hate that I have to do that but at the same time it's also like I'm only one person and there's only so much that I can kind of deal with and when she sent me photos of her crying and stuff I'm like that makes me feel like a, a very awful person um when I'm just trying to you know I'm just a I'm an average person just trying to get back and Please don't give to me kind of thing so um i did have to say to her look yeah look I'm, you're gonna have to stop with the messages because it's getting a bit much um so i hope people don't think i'm rude i feel like i always try and approach things in the nicest way possible um but i guess yeah once again i'm sorry if you think i'm rude i, I really don't try to be i don't really know what this question means but i mean what this assumption means but they said that you've played a disney role i thought you were someone from the disney character I don't know if she means like actually like worked at Disneyland or like played in a movie but I definitely haven't <laughs> um so yeah I feel like that would be pretty cool but no I have not done that someone said that you're a messy worker like you make lots of mess when doing makeup yes I do my desk is literally in shambles you guys see it pretty much like once a week when I have to do my cleaning my room videos um I do make a lot of mess I'm glad I have a big desk someone said you don't like reading your probs don't cook that much and you like Fortnite. I love reading. Reading is amazing. I haven't read for so long because I just feel like I don't have the time lately. It's so sad. But reading is like one of my ultimate time, like favorite things to do. I love the Hunger Games. Um, I really like John Green. Um, I love reading. Reading is so good. Like it's, I feel like books really, really helped me through some really tough times in my life, um, especially the Hunger Games series. Like I've reread that like seven times. I love that. I love it so much. Um, books hold a very, very dear place in my heart. And yeah, I, I do love to read. I think it's um, it's so nice. I probably just don't have that much time at the moment. Um, you know, if I kind of have a spare moment, it's more like editing or filming or like watching YouTube. Like I'm really into YouTube, like you guys would know, obviously. Um, so yeah, I feel like it's a little bit hard to read lately, but I really do want to get back into it. Um, but yeah, I've got heaps of books. I love reading so much. <laughs> Um, she said, you probably don't cook that much. No, I don't cook. <laughs> um, I live in a house with like my grandpa and he loves to cook. So it's like just sometimes a little bit hard because um, he'll cook at like tea time and yeah, like I cook cakes and stuff. I like that kind of thing, but it's not like I'll whip up like a meal. Like, cause I feel like, I don't know, everyone else in the house already does that kind of thing. <laughs> um, when Sam and I stay together, I cook, I cook tacos. Like, I don't know if they count, but no, I would really like to cook. I actually do like cooking a lot. Um, I just don't get to do it much. I love baking though, so I love, um, like cakes and stuff, like, wow, oh, so good. And you like Fortnite? I've actually never played Fortnite. Um, I really need to get back into my gaming, to be honest, but I don't think I play Fortnite. Um, I prefer, like, RPGs, like, role-playing games and stuff, like, Oblivion, Skyrim, Fallout, that's my jam, Bioshock is amazing. Um, what else have I played? I really like Tomb Raider. Um, what else? What else is there? I don't know, there's a few others, but... Yeah, I prefer like doing my own thing. I don't really, not into the whole online thing. Someone said you shower when you're bored, even if you've already <laughs> showered four times that day. No, that's not me. That's not me at all. Um, this will probably sound disgusting. I don't care because I'm a human and I know that there'd be other people out there that would be going through the same thing. I used to actually really struggle with showering. Um, I'm actually like a heat setter now, but I used to really struggle with showering. It sounds weird, but um, 
like um when you have like mental illness and stuff or even if you don't like sometimes showering is just like it's a big deal like and i know it probably sounds weird like what like how can showering be like that big of a deal but it can be it can be like a really um tough thing to do and to like work up the courage and i know it sounds weird um yeah it's a very like it's a very big reality that um sharing can be really really hard um i feel like since um i spent more time at home i'm really good with sharing now i shower at least once a day um and the other day i actually did shower just to try out my new products so but yeah no um i usually I used to be a nighttime shower and now I feel like I'm a morning shower person and then if I feel the need I will have a, a shower at night time as well so yeah. Someone said you're Australian. Yes I am Australian. Someone said you're very optimi optimistic but you get annoyed at your family a lot. No way I love my family. Um, Sometimes they like ups like annoy me but like not a lot like we get along really really well. My mum and dad, I'm just like plaiting my hair while I'm here. <laughs> my mum and my dad are like my best friends. Um, I love them so much my sis my little sister and i probably don't get along that much um it's just because she's at that age where she's a bit of a bitch no but i love her with all of my heart probably don't tell her enough but um i feel like we're working with our relationship which is good and then my older sister and i get along really well i love my nephew we get along so well he's only four so it's kind of easy to but yeah i love him no um i don't really get annoyed at my family too much I mean, we have our arguments and stuff like everyone, but no, I, we're like best friends. Like we're just like a group of friends. It's really, really nice. Um, and very optimistic. Yes. I feel like I am quite optimistic. I used to be the complete opposite and always see the bad in the situation, but now I've totally changed my thinking and I always try and see the silver lining, even if I know it's a lie, because I feel like we're only here for so long and I just feel like there is no point looking at the negative of things. I would much rather be happy for my time here. Not saying that happiness is just like something that you choose because it's, it can definitely not be like, um, but yeah, I feel like it takes a lot of time um, and it's obviously different if you're struggling with mental illness or something like that. But um, I did go through a lot of mental illness stuff and um, now that I'm on my medication and stuff, I've worked on really trying to rework my brain and like change my thinking and all that kind of stuff and i feel like yeah i'm, I'm a very positive and optimistic person now someone said you seem really confident and i feel like you'd be really awesome to hang out with <laughs> um i'm not confident i mean i am here but not really in real life i guess um unless like we're like tight you know unless we're like good friends then i'm fine um but i hope i'd be fun to hang out with i feel like i'm a bit of an absent friend um I'm not gonna run from that. I get really busy and overwhelmed and stuff. So sometimes I won't reply to your messages for a couple days, but once I do, like I'm, I'm always there if you need me and all that kind of stuff. Um, but yeah, sometimes I can be a bit of an absent friend, but I'm, you know, I'm like, I'm a good friend, but I feel like I'm, a, I'm an absent friend. But when we're hanging out, I feel like I'd be fun. I hope, anyway. Someone said you are more of a colorful person than a neutral one. Yeah, I feel like I've got two sides. I'm a Gemini, so I consider I have two sides. I don't know if you guys believe in that kind of stuff, but I do. I feel like a Gemini describes me really, really well. Um, so yeah, I really like the idea of like the simplistic, um, beautiful, like white beauty room with like the, um, you know, obviously I've got my mirror and the beautiful desk and like the greenery and stuff. And then like you kind of look over here and I've got like, you know, like all my pops and stuff like that. Um, so I have like two very contradicting sides. I have one side that's all about like wanting everything to be super simple and neat and fresh. And then, you know, I've got like my pops of, um, you know, like I have all my Simpsons stuff over there. So I feel like I have like kind of two contradicting sides. Um, but I feel like, um, yeah, I feel like I'm both. It depends on the day, it depends on how I'm feeling kind of thing. But I really, I feel like it's, it's good because it's like a nice mix. So You always want to help someone if they're in a bad place. Yeah, I feel like I do. Um, I really try my hardest to help. Um, yeah, I, I always want to help and I feel... Um, the thing is, like, it's hard to, like, I really do want to help people. Um, I, you guys probably know that you know i love to give back and i love to help and when i have the money you know i'm gonna donate as much as i can and all that kind of stuff um but i feel like i also like to help on my own terms as well if that makes sense 
um, like when people message me um, like begging to win the giveaway and stuff that's when I'm kind of like like I'm a very very nice person but I feel like I also don't like to be taken advantage of if that makes sense um, which I feel like no one does so if you're like there begging me and guilt tripping me and all that kind of stuff like that is in, that's not gonna sit right with me because you know I'm, I'm trying to be the best person I can and I don't feel like that should be taken advantage of but yeah I will always try and help if I can um, yeah if someone messaged me and was like you know I'm going through it right now I'd be like you know let's let's talk about it um, and that goes for any of you watching this you can always message me if you need anything um, sometimes I don't see the messages right away but when I do I will try and reply as fast as I can um, I feel bad because I've got messages sitting in my DMs from like two weeks ago that I'm getting through but it's just um, it's a lot like I've got a lot of DMs so I'm just trying to get through them and stuff and through my comments and stuff but I will always try and help as um, best as I can Okay, that is all of the assumptions, so this is part two done. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!